A company sent me this clock kit here, so let me show you everything you get with this, and then we'll see how we use it. So it does come with a little instruction sheet here. Uh, now this can be used to repair a clock that you have, or if you want to make your own clock, you can use it for that as well. It does not come with a battery, but it takes a double A battery, which are easy to get a hold of. So it comes with two of the actual clock motors here, two of the uh, hanging brackets that you can use, and then also two of the mounting hardware. Comes with a little washer and the nut and everything. So it comes with two of those. Then you get a set of these five different set of hands. And so this is the only one that has a red second hand, but it's a decorative set of hands there. Here's one that is a little bit different. Here's another different one that's kind of pointed, kind of triangular. This one is just uh, pretty much flat and straight. And then here is one more that is a decorative here. So it comes with five set of hands. So we've made our own clock face here out of some wood. And let me show you how you go about assembling this. The first thing you wanna do is if you're gonna be using this hanger, go ahead and place the hanger over that part right there. And then use the big uh, plastic washer here and go ahead and put it over that. So now that we have all of these in place, we're gonna take our clock face and then go ahead and place it over it just like that. Now we use the small metal washer and then place the nut over it. And you can see the thread sticking up here. So we go ahead and tighten this washer down on it. You want to make sure it's snug, but you don't want it like extremely tight. Now you will want to try to line it up. So we're gonna to look to see where the top of our clock is and then try to get this kind of straight here. I am gonna tighten this just a little bit. So we'll kind of use this and just tighten it, snug it up just a little bit there. That way this isn't moving. Next, just pick out a set of clock hands that you want to use. The hands have a clear plastic film over them uh, to protect them to keep from getting scratched. So you can go ahead and remove that. So first you wanna place the small hand or the iron hand on the clock. Just kind of push it down over that shaft. Next, we're gonna take the minute hand and go ahead and place it on top of it. And we finish off with the little black clip here. Go ahead and place it on top. And there you have it assembled. Of course, to set your clock time, you just turn this dial on the back of it and we can change our time just like this. And that's pretty much all there is to this.